Cosplay Gamer Society. Hello guys, Cosplay Gamer Nano7 here, and I'm just giving you a very quick uh, intro into welcoming you to the last ever episode of F1 Season Challenge and also F1 2014 Season Challenge. Um, if you've been keeping up with the uh, episodes, um, you'll know pretty much what's happening in these last few races. Um, if you've if you've only watched one or two, um, then you can click down below where on either twenty twelve season challenge twenty thirteen or twenty fourteen so far. Um, I'm recording this on the Thursday, which is the day before the British Grand Prix weekend starts. Um, so obviously we'll practice being tomorrow and then quality on the Sunday. Apparently it's looking like it's going to be wet for quality. Is mint. Um, so yeah, um, this is kind of an introduction to it, as I've already said. But more than that, it's the end of F1 gameplay on my channel. Not not literally, just like to get a PS4, and I'm probably going to get a couple of the F1 games. Like I don't know, 16 and 17, and I'll just get 18 and 19. Um, reason why I decided to do season challenge and not career mode. Reason why I went with season challenge was because you get a different environment with the car you pick, and there's all there's also the chance of trying to beat the rival that you select. So that is. It also depends on what team you start off with. Because in the, in the beginning you have a choice of I think it's three or four teams um, depending on what the year is. So 2012 you had like HRT, you had Virgin, um, you had Force India and you had Toro Rosso. Uh, and then when you get to 2013 you've got a choice of Toro Rosso, Force India... Marussia in Caterham and pretty much the same for 2014 but with Salba included and um, for this year I went with Salba uh, for 2014, yeah, for 2014 I went with Salba and I could just about understand how shit that car was um, there were a lot of races where I was making mistakes in quality and I was having to haul it back up into points um, but overall, um, I think by the time I'd beaten my rival and was offered um, a contract with, I think, Toro Rosso, I was actually enjoying driving for Salba, but Toro Rosso was like a step up, because then I know from then it goes to Red Bull, because I picked my rival, which was Vettel, obviously, if you've seen the episodes, I beat, no, it wasn't Vettel, it was Ricardo I went for, went for Ricardo, got his seat, um, went against Rosberg, beat him, and obviously I'm now in Mercedes for the last few races for season challenge. Um, once this is all done, um, I may, um, depending on how I feel about this, um, or how you guys feel about this, is... I might do like a special one-off race or I might do a, like a kind of like a short championship season where I think it's probably going to be 20% or something like that um, where I would you know I'd pick a random driver and I do a championship season see if I can win a championship with them um, but that's only if I feel like I can be asked, because <laughs> um, there's obviously gameplay recording which I've already started for the Italian job on PS2. Um, so yeah, essentially, um, that's been this little introduction, uh, which has gone on for now nearly five minutes. Um, so without further ado, get into the gameplay, and I hope you enjoyed these last few these last few races of. F1 2014 season challenge. Thanks for being on the journey and yeah, 
enjoy bye hey guys here we are uh, back with the final part of f1 2014 season challenge and season challenge as a whole um if you've seen the uh, little introductory message uh, beforehand um i won't explain what's going to happen um so what we're doing is we're going for the lowest level. So we're going for literally the, the skinniest rear wing known to mankind. Here we go, down the back straight. 210, 12, 4, oh my God. 220 miles an hour, shit. See, I haven't played this for like nearly two weeks, so I was a bit rusty on the braking. 220 mile an hour going into turn one is frightening speed. Come from Curva Grande. Breaking hard now for the second chicane, 30.0. Oh, back end stepped out. Oh, I didn't like that. Uh, how is Vel behind me? He's fucking. He's in the red bull. That's why he's de-arrested. Oh, got on the white line. go oh my god my car's got oversteer shit no of oh, how is Val leading he's in a red bull Renault I have purple sector oh I've got to fucking claw this back now somehow how the fuck am I gonna do this I'm not gonna do it oh shit oh no I fucked that up I fucked quality up I've absolutely fucked it up. Oh, that's embarrassing. I'm at the back of the grid. That is literally the worst scenario possible. My rival and my teammate up at the top of the grid. Thirty-one's. Wait, what the flying? Ch okay, I want to see what my sectors were. Thirty-zero and thirty point seven. Okay, so how much was quicker in the second sector? But I'm trying to see how that worked out. In the first sector, I was a second quicker. I had pole in the fucking bag, and I absolutely lot. Oh. Guys, I'm so angry with myself. A pole that got away again. Which means I've got to have a lightning start. And I mean a lightning start. So, of all the starts I've had in Season Challenge, this has got to be the ultimate beast of a lightning start. It's now race day in the garage. Not uh, percent chance of rain. I'm last. Hamilton and Vettel are on the front row. So, um... This is going to be a fun Grand Prix. Um, here we go. Let's try and win the Italian Grand Prix with the fastest ever setup. Right. Um, so I'll uh, see you all at the other end, lads. So my target's P9, but I know I've got to be much quicker than that. So lights out, away we go. It's a so-so start. Oh God, I, I don't know where to go. Fuck, oh, come back on the track. Oh, what is this? Fucking Toro Rosso's. Oh my god, if it could have got any worse. What a clusterfuck that is. It's like I am in no man's land. What two Toro Rossos, a Force India, a Salva Ferrari, a Lotus on the other side of the track. Okay.
one that's boxed me in. Grosjean! Oh, fuck off. I've got to do, I've got to do quality laps all the way now. Fuck off. Mountain Auto! Fuck off! Oh my god, how was this guy in F1? He can't fucking drive! Fuck off. Right, now we've got Chilton, lad. Here we go, past him. Right, so that's 14th. What the fuck, Grosjean? What in the flying bejesus? Oh, oh my god. I'm going to have to do the replay at the, at the end of the race, guys, because I do not know what the fuck happened there. All I know is my Mercedes went round, so for the second time, in one lap, my car's been in a fucking shit scenario. Yes, thanks, Jeff. Oh, I'm going to get a double toe. I'm going to double toe. Oh, shit, wrong way. On the grass, still did it. Oh, I'm an animal. I'm an animal. Turn one. Done that. Right, coming up to Ericsson. Hang on, they haven't even reached the first fucking chicane yet. I'm going to fucking catch these guys. Oh, my God. Round the outside, 190 mile an hour. Yes, I know it's a catering, but fuck it. Where are they going at? Right, they're just going through the second Lesmo now, so... Oh, snatch the brake there. Oh, I'm going to have him. I am going to have him. See you later. Oh shit, I'm on the grass. We oh, yeah, I forgot some of that too, no DRS. Okay, uh, they're going through Parabolica now onto lap three. So, if I'm going to have any hope of catching them, I've got to be at least, well, I've got to be fifth or sixth. Oh, fucking turn Mercedes! Christ, who did they set this up for? Fucking Rosberg! Can you see how many bikes that come and get? 28.7, probably nowhere near fast as that. Yeah, thanks, mate. Fuck it, dive bomb. Tw fastest lap, 28.7. Fucking hell. So what did Hamilton do? Oh my god, he's nowhere near. Can Hamilton's in a 31, I'm in a 28. Yes, this is on medium, guys, just, just so you know. Yes, Eric, I'm talking about you. Um... And I have got the brake thing off. Oh, hang on. Are we going for Bottas? Shit, Bottas is going one way. Oh my fucking Bottas! That was so fucking dangerous! Fuck, seriously. What are these. Obviously, you've not seen it, but basically what's happened is as I'm passing Bottas, he's moved across, hit my right rear. rear. Look at. Oh, I'm going to have such a flat spot on that right front. Fuck off. What's the situation? Oh, oh no, it's sound. Oh, I'm not going to do this, guys.
I'm gonna have to, I'm, I've got a banzai lap here. Oh shit, oh fuck off. <laughs> fuck it, let's set it to rear, let's go through. This has not been the cleanest race I've ever done. I'll, I'll not fucking. Oh my god, I've got to go for the dive bomb. That was literally button moving across at the last minute, so I had to jink to the inside. Oh my god. Still haven't got DRS! Oh my god, I haven't used DRS once in this race. Fucking hell. My customer in line for Ascari. Oh my god, the fucking train up ahead. Oh, this is going to be the most worldly of overtakes. Get ready to see a worldly overtake here, boys. Oh my fucking god. Oh, fuck off with your penalty bollocks! Ricardo's holding them all up, he's gotta be. Oh, I've got DRS. Oh, this is a worldly overtake. Oh, 226! Oh my god! 226 miles an hour down to fucking zero. Wow! I'm not gonna lie, I was I, I was actually sweating when I made that overtake. And this little fucking sweating on the pad, fuck. Three oh, I will tell you what, lads. Where's Vettel? Oh, it's just about going through second as well now. I'm not going to get the DRS, but if, if I absolutely fucking own this Ascari Chicane, I could be right with him. 1.7, fucking absolute annihilated him. I'm going to I'm gonna have to do a last corner dive bomb at Parabolica if I get close enough, and I don't think I'm close enough. Come on! Come on! Oh, I'm gonna run out of laps. Oh, fuck off! No! Oh, fucking bell end. Damn it. But how was that for a race, lads? Two first lap incidents. Pretty much stone dead last. 27 7 for fastest lap. Oh, behave. I, oh my god, that is a... Oh Christ, I'm so much quicker than everyone else. I started last, I finished third. I think if I hadn't been for the first corner incident, I would have probably ended, ended up ahead of Vettel. And I've noticed I've not beaten Hamilton in either of the two races. I was going to show that incident. Um, sorry about that.
so I've just seen some chocolate buttons. So yeah, um, a one three. Um, China being the next race. Um, Yeah, China, the penultimate race in season challenge. Um, I was kind of right when I said there's about three races left. Uh, emails, what have we got? Let's go to the top. Oh, fuck my life. It's going to be raining in qualifying and the race. thing is if it's going to be raining all weekend what setup do we go with it's light drops which is really odd so Vettel's right behind me. I've gone for the moderate setup, so it's not fully wet, it's not fully dry. Oh, I'll break myself. Oh, now the rain's come. Now the rain has come. Because it's more wetter in the middle part of the track, whereas at the front of it, it's bone dry. I've tried to take that absolute flat, and I know that's never going to work. I've gone so far out. That fucking shadow with your fucking Hamilton popped me off. Fucking prick. Rhea's not the best one to go with. Fuck. This game is just proving while Ham why Hamilton is the best wet weather driver. Let's see if we buy that car. Oh my fuck, he's gone. Yeah, I've I've said up for like the first two sets. Ha Hamilton's nowhere near me. He's gone, mate. I close quite a bit back up. He's going to cross the line. Oh, not bad. I was 1.2 down in the second sector and I clawed virtually all of that back in the last one. Well, in the last part, from the hairpin to the start finish line, I clawed it all back, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, oh my god, look how much I beat Ricardo by. Ah, oh, you can't, you can't pick, you can't choose it between me and the two Red Bulls. Yeah, while well, I'm happy, Lewis got pole. I'm annoyed because another mistake in qualifying cost me a pole position happened in Italy and it's happened here so see it's in challenge place that's I've beaten five rivals I've completed 18 races time spent on track three hours shit not one single constructors championship um, I've had 16 top 10 finishes and I've done 18 races that's that's fucking mint 100% um, I wonder if it's worth, hang on, let, let me just try the tyres, let's see what the guys say. Okay, so I think we're just going to stick with the Inters. Oh, cheers, Crofty. Here we go. The final rival challenge is against Veto. Is my start going to be a good one? Or is it going to be first corner incident? Away we go. Um, we got a good start. We got a cracking start. 
That's the best start I've ever done in this. And I'm going to try to take Hamilton round the outside. No, oh, I got too cocky. I got way too cocky. Oh, Hamilton's left the door open. I've got the lead, lads. Oh, my God. First time in a Mercedes. I'm leading the Grand Prix. And see, okay, yes, I know I led the race at fucking Belgium. But never in a Mercedes. This is, oh, I am so fucking bricking it. I've got Hamilton and Vettel behind me. There's going to be no DRS. I'm actually more nervous about this one than I was in Belgium. So, um, where's Hamilton? He is, he's sort of with me. It's, I think this straight he's going to have me. Oh, fuck. I've got so deep into that corner. Slight bit of oversteer. This, if Hamilton doesn't have me on this straight, then I must have been sandbag sandbagging in qualifying. He's going to have much more speed than me down the straight. I just know it. No, he's not. Looking. No, I'm keeping up with him. Clobbered the bollard. Yeah, this is a Mercedes fight, this is. Oh my god, Vettel's two seconds behind. Well, tell that to him then, Jesus Christ! Coming out the corner, oh my god. I don't know where... Oh, f fuck. I've gone so deep into that corner. Oh, God. This is going to be f a fucking nightmare. Oh, I've got a slight kick of over there. Oversteer again. Shit, cars wants to go right. Oh my fucking god. Oversteer, understeer, call it what steer you like. Coming now onto the back straight. I know Hamilton's gonna have me. Because he's a lot more closer this time round. <laughs> I'm not going to go defensive. I want to come back onto the racing line. Brake hard. Really hard. I've gone so. Oh, I've gone too slow. Oh my god, Hamlin's right up my fucking asshole. That's probably not what you want to hear. 52.4. What was Hamlin's lap? Okay, I did a 52.4. Hamilton's done a 50. Oh my god, we've done the same time. To He's two one thousandths faster than me. Oh my god, this is what you call a fucking race. Wait, what fucking DRS has been enabled? 51.8? Fucking. What's Vettel on? What special engine mode has he got? God. I think it's got to be the last. It's even, I don't know which sector. Look, oh, fuck, I've done it again. Oh my god. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now I need to recharge this. Um, sorry about this, guys. Um, do, do, do.
Okay, so we are now back and running, and here we go. Nice tight line. That's that's the best I've taken it so far. That's including qualifying. Oh god, I've gone so wide. Lewis is right. Oh fuck, where's he going? I don't know where Lewis is going. Don't no, pass me here, Lewis. Please don't. Oh, I'll tell you what he thought about it. He thought about the pass. Fucking hell, team. Tell Lewis to stop fucking bumping me up the arse. Have I got the speed down a straight or something? He must have set his car up for the dry. Oh, I thought I've gone defensive. Lewis has gone for the outside. Oh my god, this is so bloody stressful. I've got two more laps of this. Through the last corner. 52-0, oh my god, six temps behind. Breaking into turn one. I can't afford to do any stupid late dive bomb. I can't do any diving so I'm leading the race. 51, it fell, fuck off. I've just got to go really, really slowly for corners like that. Can't do any fucking stupid over the top braking or missing apex at all. Like that. Oh my fucking god. So, oh, I've gone so far wide. The one thing I didn't want to do, and I've done it. See, I don't know whether it's time for... I don't know whether it's time for wets, you know. What? It's been bonkers to pit on wets now. What, really? No, it's, it's not wet enough. I mean, the rain's coming down, but it's not wet enough. And I've just done a purple... Second sector... Oh fucking hell, where was I going? I was going off to Mars. I think the way the rain's coming down now, it's more suited to my car. My? My car? My car. That's slightly American. Uh, so down back straight, where's Lewis? He's still there, but he's not close enough. Into the hairpin, taking a fucking age to turn that Mercedes. Lewis is there. Vettel's not far behind. I've missed the apex again. 51.8 was Vettel's. And good night, Vettel. Fuck off. 50.4. Wow. A whole second faster. See, this is what I can do. If I... If I had made mistakes in Italy, in fucking, I don't know where else it was. Um, yeah, yeah. see, the track's coming to me now, the conditions, the way the rain's coming down. I've done another purple. Yeah, I think Lewis's chances was when it was... Not coming down like as much as this, but probably light enough. Yeah, I've got him. I've got Lewis covered. I've actually beaten him. One on one in the same team. In conditions that suit him. You've seen me win in a Red Bull. You are about to see me win in a Mercedes. Down the back straight for the final time. Oh God, this is emotional. Round the final corner. I had to endure pressure in the first few laps. But we're coming through now. Round the final corner to take a well deserved win and it's a 48.6 fastest lap, shit. 
I did all three. That was an absolute min performance. Oh, I'm my controller disconnected. There's no controllers available! Uh, 48.6, wow! <coughs> 8 minutes to 5 so I can get this done. Um, that was, wow, it was mind blowing. I had I had Hamilton covered uh, from pretty much I think end of lap three onwards. Might have been beginning of lap four. I had him in my pocket if you like. Um, so forty eight. Yeah, I can't win the world championship because Hamilton's too far ahead. So Hamilton's essentially champion now. Um. I think if I'd won in Italy, it might have been a different story. So you could say Italy was the race where the championship got away. Um, but I am going to finish second, so probably 40, 50, 60. Yeah, Hamilton's still going to win by something 20 odd points, which is absolutely annoying. <coughs> So, uh, we go into the final race, which is in Brazil. Lewis knows when he was being fair and square. Absol I got the perfect start in that race. So I'm getting a bit emotional now. Um, yeah. Um, what a race. Um, I've just driven for Red Bull. Why would I want to go there again? Are you mad? I'm not driving for Red Bull, I'd be further off in the championship. Fool. And I've won my first ever Constructors World Championship. Oh, men. Fucking brill. Brazil, sun, sun, sun. Oh, I cannot wait for this track. I love Sao Paulo. It's one of my favourite tracks. Um... Uh, and it's just so poignant that my last race and season challenge is at the home of the great late Ayrton Senna. Um, so yeah, I did decide to stay with Mercedes because why would I want to leave leave a team um, that I joined to go back to a team where I'd beaten one of their previous drivers? It just wouldn't make any sense. Um, yeah, so I decided to stick with Mercedes um, because it was the best option for me. Um, there we go, qualifying. So we're doing the cut to the garage and we're now going to cut to the actual setup thing. Um, So we'll go with the one just above the standard setup. Here we go, the last ever qualifying session for F1 2012 season, 2014 season challenge. Here we go. Now for turn one, it's just slightly got away from me in the apex, caught the second one. So as you can see, the Red Bull slightly ahead, but I've got a better drive coming out of the corner. So coming down into turn three, 18, eight for the first sector. This next bit up here is a section I absolutely love. If you've got the balls to try your flat out, and honestly, I didn't have the steering to take that flat out.
car got a bit of a kick of oversteer and a massive kick of oversteer there. So Vettel's currently the man on course for pole position. Which is going to be a massive shock. I've got a great traction and drive coming out of the corner. Oh, it's Hamilton. No, it's not. It's me. It looks like it's. it could be me who gets pole. Is it? Yes, it is! By nearly a quarter of a second. Two and a half tenths. Look at that. That is just mental. Nearly four tenths covers the top four. Two tenths of a second between me and Hamilton. I mean, it's fucking mind-blowing. Okay, what time are we on? We are on 16.58, so I'm going to do this race fucking fast. Um, so we're going to cut through all the things now and just get to the race as quick as possible. So, my boss is actually in half an hour because it's, it's probably 10 minutes late now, Mal. Look. So, here we go. Qualifying for the final lap. Now, I know this is going to be a dominated race, but if I get a shit start, it's going to be another comeback drive like Italy, which I, I actually enjoyed that race. I actually enjoyed the race in Italy. Um. This is the longest video I've ever done for Season Challenge, the last three races. Um, yeah, Lewis has been crowned world champion, Mercedes has been crowned constructors champions. So can I end on a high note and win? Actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, options. I'm trying to see if I can take damage off, but I don't know. I don't think I can. No. Oh, shit. Right, we're back. The lights to go out. Got the car pointed towards Hamilton. Got a semi. -oke. I've got a great start, actually. Vettel's got a great start. He's trying to go. Oh my god, there's arrows everywhere. I don't know where I'm going. But I've got absolutely the best start. Ricardo's up to third. Oh my god. God, what is... Oh, what the fuck have I done? What the... F Hold on, go back. What the... F Look at the gap I've got! That is insane! Bloody no... I've never had a gap that big on an opening lap. Two seconds. I've got this on medium. I'm. I've got the ABS off, and I'm two seconds ahead. What is this madness? Went a bit wide there. I know Lewis is going to catch before the end of the lap anyway. 
Jesus Christ, he's so far behind in this metal sector. It was 1.9. It's to, oh fuck! What is wrong with Hamilton today? I've, I've dominated him in China, and I'm dominating again. This might be a bit of a boring race, unless something fucking dramatic happens. Fucking nothing is going to happen in this race. Lap two. Three and a half seconds. I'm taking really wide lines here. Minus 6.3 because it's only the fucking second lap. I'm actually cutting corners now. Oh my god. I'm actually bored now. I've got a four seconds gap for fuck's sake. Turn in. What if I was just done? I think Lewis must have the wrong setup on. So I've gone slightly different and I'm seven seconds faster. Obviously, Hamilton's only lost the temp, so I think he's more or less matched me in the second sector, which is which is a good thing. Uh, we're gonna go over now. 17 something was my pole lap. Oh my god, my fastest lap is faster than my pole lap. What the flying banana? Alonso's fourth shit, hey up. Fernando is faster than you. So lap three of five. Um, not much else to report. Um, I've done a lap that's faster than pole lap. Hamilton shit. Um, Battles and deer. Okay, let's just go over it. Fuck it. Oh my! Oh shit! I've gone off. Oh no, massive concentration loss. And now, or did I do that on purpose? No, actually I didn't do that on purpose. I actually snatched the brake and went straight on. Uh, I've now got Hamilton and Vettel right up my bit gearbox. Oh fucking, now it's got interesting. Four and a half seconds there lost. Oh shit. Hamilton's gonna have me you now. Yeah, I can see him getting it. Has he got, he's got the same car as me, there's not enough grunt coming from his engine. Oh shit, my car's gone to Mars. Lap four or five, and it's heated up. I made a mistake at Young Cat, not Young Cow. Um, f f turn five, whatever that is, and it's gone a bit hairy. Okay, Lewis, let's not do anything stupid. End of the season. I know you pissed off about China, but that's not my fault. So I don't even need to push. To be honest, what I'm going to do, guys, is I am going to do an Abu Dhabi recreation in Brazil now. I'm just going to coast through this section. <laughs> you can see Yama's getting so close to me. Getting on the power there. So basically, any time I come out of a corner, that's when I'm putting the power down. And I'm not going to touch any curbs. Not little flip bends like that, because that's not even fucking worth it. Hamilton's going to have DRS. I'm going to go to the inside. Come on, Lewis. Oh, fuck. Hello. Fucking I think Bell was having to go there. Last lap. This is proper slowdown stuff now. I've gone... Defensive again, slowing down on the brakes, 
slowing proper right down and again oh my fucking god oh shit 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 make a defensive locking up back end wants to step out going through here very very slowly We're coming through the last few corners. Do we know who's winning this race? No, I've gotten the curbs there. That's kind of broken my rule. Oh my God, I've gone so slow. Vettel is literally up Hamilton's rear end. I'm not lying. Oh, uh, that's not going well. I've got him, I've got him. I'm gonna win the Brazilian Grand Prix. The final race of season challenge. I won the, and I pretty much dominated the last two. So another 25 points for me. I, I did the fastest lap on the second lap of the Grand Prix. Um, after that, I snatched a break at turn five. Um, Hamilton and Vettel came back, and it was just a case of uh, slow it down all the way to the end. Um, so. Look at that, Hamilton won the title by 40 points. Um, yeah, so the title was a long shot, but to be 40 points off Hamilton after I joined with four races to go, I'll take that. I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, and we were Constructors Champions by 117 points. So that's pretty meant. I'm absolutely over the moon with that. Dominated in the wet against Hamilton. I've dominated in the dry in this idle backyard. I can't wish for better than that. Absolute fantastic performance. Um. And that, everyone, as they say, is that. Um, that's been the end of 2014 season challenge. Um, and it's the end of uh, the season challenge gameplays as a whole. So... Um, I hope you've enjoyed these uh, series of uh, videos for 2012. Um, it's it's been a massive roller coaster over the last God knows how many years I've been I've, I've done it. Um, but these are the stats for for the season challenge this year. So I'm just going to zoom in on the stats. Uh, drivers for championship position second, eight fastest laps, two poles. Average finishing position second. Wins three. Season chance score. So if we just move it across. Uh, joined four teams. Beat four rivals. And uh, rival driver selected four. So that's pretty good actually. Um, as I was saying, it's the end. Um, for those of you who have watched these. Um... Thanks for your support. Um, for those of yeah who um, I've even watched the odd one or two, um, still thanks again. Um, it means a lot. Um, if no, this is probably going to get. I'm going to try and edit this tonight. I may do it as a part one and part two. Um, with Italy going up first and then with China and Brazil after or I may just do it all in one um, but I think by the time this goes up it, it will most likely be all three together
so I'm probably looking around an hour for this, uh, but it's worth to watch it all. So, you know, I say um, thanks to everyone who's um, supported me by uh, watching the gameplay. Um, hope you've all enjoyed them. Um, if there's been races where you find it boring, like dominating long races where a miles is in front, sorry. Um, if you've enjoyed the ones where I've come through the field, uh, or from the back of the grid, or, you know, what I like, um, I mean, I'll see you. like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, um, comment below what you thought your favourite memory of, um, not just F1 2014, but 2012 and 2013 season challenge was. Um, or whatever your favourite memory of, of this season challenge was. Um, and if you'd want to see me do a championship version on maybe another game or something like that um so yeah i'm going to sign out i've been cosplay gamer 907 thanks very much for tuning in thanks very much for, for supporting and watching all the season challenge videos so until the next lot of gameplay be that what it may take care and goodbye <laughs>